Let's talk about depression. You may believe that you have a chemical imbalance in your brain that causes depression, but that's not that likely to be true in your case. I found the three things that cause depression are harsh, hurtful, critical words that you use about you on a regular basis, which would make anyone depressed. Another biggie that causes depression is disconnection. Human beings are wired to find connection and avoid rejection, and we live in a world where we're becoming more and more disconnected and finally failing to follow your heart's desire. So I'm going to take you through something amazing called the Healing Portals. We're going to realign yourself and we're going to do all of this in hypnosis because hypnosis is powerful at helping you make mental and physical shifts. How do you go into hypnosis? Well, you look up like that, keep your eyeballs up, close the lids down, let's do it together. Nothing weird is going to happen, I promise you. Look up, pretend you're trying to look into your very own eyebrows and at the same time close your eyelids down. You might feel a kind of fluttering, it's called REM rapid eye movement only happens when you're going to hypnosis or dreaming. So let's do it for real. Just look up as high as you can, roll your eyes up, imagine you're trying to look into your very own eyebrows. Breathe in, breathe out. Take another deep breath, breathe in, hold it. Every time you blink, deep, powerful hypnosis is coming upon you. Breathe out just one more time, breathe in, hold it. And this time as you exhale, keep your eyeballs up, but close your eyelids right down. All the way down, now forget all about your eyes. Drop your chin. And I want you to get that very same looking down feeling that you might get as you look over a balcony or down a flight of stairs. Get that looking down sensation. Let your eyeballs go wherever they want to go. And I want you to see yourself taking 10 steps. Right now you're moving on to step 10. As each muscle, every nerve turns loose, lets loose and you go deeper. You're taking step nine. And you can see your feet, hear your feet. Feel your feet treading each step as you move down. Drift down, travel down to an even deeper level. You are taking step eight and seven, going deeper with every number I count. You're taking step six, and every sound and noise and movement around you is taking you deeper. The sound of your heartbeat is taking you deeper as you move on to step five. The sound of your breathing is taking you deeper as you move on to step four. You're taking step three as each muscle. Every nerve turns loose, lets loose, and you go deeper. You're taking step two and one. Just go deeper, deeper, deeper. Just go deeper into an awareness of yourself. And as you go deeper, I want you to imagine Hovering above your head is a vortex of powerful healing energy. This vortex is rather like a child spinning top. It's spinning, twisting, turning, vibrating, moving in a clockwise direction. It's wider than your body's widest part. It has a tail at the bottom. And it's about to move through your body, keeping your body completely within its sphere. See it in your mind's eye, pick a beautiful healing color, see it, sense it, feel it, because now is the time to begin. I want you to tune in to this energy vibrating. I want you to feel the tail, the top of this vortex, just moving into your head. Moving from the crown of your head, moving into your mind, moving into your brain, moving into your thought processes as this vortex spins and twists and whirls and vibrates. As it spins and vibrates and moves, it is immediately locating any thoughts you may have thought that have caused depression. It is finding negative thoughts, limiting beliefs, blocking thoughts that could have and may have led to you believing you have depression. And as this vortex finds limiting beliefs, blocking thoughts, toxic imprints, it is spinning them straight out of your mind. It's rather like a massive broom, rather like a powerful Dyson vacuum cleaner, sucking, pulling, shoving, moving those negative thoughts out of your mind. Because the truth is, 
No baby is born with depression. We have to acquire it. And just as we acquire it, we can let it go. As this vortex spins, do you mind it is spinning out, washing out, vibrating out negative beliefs. And as it spins the negative beliefs out, it is wiring in an overwhelming, urgent, powerful, all-pervasive need to be kind to yourself. You have an overwhelming need to become your own very best friend, to praise yourself, to believe in yourself, to say nice things to yourself. In fact, you remember always what I told you the major cause of depression are harsh, hurtful, critical words that we say about ourselves on a daily basis. And you can stop that right now. You can remember, well, what is the opposite? The opposite is saying kind, helpful words about yourself on a regular basis. Harsh, hurtful, critical becomes kind, helpful, helpful, kind, comforting words. That's what you use about yourself on a daily basis. You are wiring in, firing in, coding in words that are helpful, words that are kind, words that are comforting, words that are motivating. You begin to find yourself saying, I've got this, I can do this. People like me. I like myself. As this vortex is spinning through your mind, it is wiring you, coding you, motivating you to start saying, I'm a likable person. I like myself and other people like me. And as the vortex travels from your mind to your eyes, you can see that you are indeed likable. You like yourself, other people like you. As the vortex travels down towards your ears, you can hear your own voice saying every day, people like me, I like myself. You can hear your voice saying that with unshakable, unwavering confidence, with absolute certainty. And as the vortex spins towards your mouth, you're beginning to form those words right now. I want you to say right now, I like myself. Other people like me. I am a likable person. And again, I like myself. Other people like me. I'm a likable person. Now let's go further. I love myself. Other people love me. I am a lovable person. How does it feel when you say that? Does it feel weird? Does it feel sad? Does it feel ridiculous? Because if it does, that's a sign you need to say it more and more and more until it feels one thing familiar and comfortable. Let's do it again. I love myself. Other people love me. I'm a lovable person. I want you to say it over and over again. You may not believe it, you may not like it. It doesn't matter, just state it, affirm it, embody it until it stops being what you say and becomes who you are. You were born believing you are lovable. You were born liking yourself. And as this vortex spins through your mind, spins through your thoughts, spins through what you see and hear and say and state, you are reactivating, remanifesting, regenerating that powerful, incredible self-belief that you were born with. Babies expect you to like them, and they do. One of the rules of the mind is what is expected tends to be realized. So as that vortex keeps spinning, as the tail section moves down, the midsection is moving into your thoughts, into your beliefs, into your mind, through your eyes, your ears, your mouth, so that you see that you are worthy of love. You hear it, you state it, affirm it, embody it. This vortex is spinning, twisting, turning, vibrating, moving through your body, moving through your mind. As it moves through your mind, you're beginning to see that connection is a necessity. And you're seeing how easy it is for you to connect. Connection is a choice. You are choosing to find connection, you're choosing to connect with people, to find groups, to smile. You are choosing to make connection available to you. You're choosing to remember what was your heart's desire as a kid. And can you follow it even as a hobby, even as an interest? So you're deliberately moving away from everything that can cause depression and embracing the very things that fix it. Kind, 
helpful words that you say about yourself, kind, comforting, helpful words, connection, following your heart's desire. And now that vortex is spinning through your shoulders, traveling down your spine. So that every nerve, every vertebrae is working, you stand up straight, you hold your head high. That vortex is spinning down towards your heart. You may see it as a broken heart, but a broken heart is the biggest, most beautiful heart because when a bodybuilder needs to make a muscle bigger, they break it, they create little tears, and it grows back bigger than ever. So I want you to see your heart like one of those beautiful Japanese vases where the gold filigree is filling in the cracks, making it more beautiful, more valuable. A broken heart is a bigger, beautiful heart, and you actually have a very functional heart that knows one thing, how to repair itself and how to give and receive love. As the vortex spins through your heart, it's spinning, filling every crack until it sparkles and shines. And you have an amazing heart, a functional heart that is so wide, so easy, so comfortable at giving and receiving love. You give love to yourself, you give love to others, you receive love. The more you give, the more you get back, the more you have to give away. And as you see your heart vibrating, working perfectly, you're looking at your lungs, the vortex is traveling down to your lungs. And as this vortex is spinning through your lungs, you're remembering when you came onto the planet, the first thing you did was to take a breath. Take a breath in. To give one away, let's do that now. Breathe in, take that breath in and just give it away. And again, take a breath in, give it away. There's the balance of giving and receiving. You see, you can't just give. You can't just give love, give praise, give kindness. You have to receive it. Otherwise, it's like just breathing out and never breathing in. So every day you have balance, you give and receive. And every day that balance is moving into your entire life as you give and receive love, give and receive praise, give and receive time, give and receive a sense of knowing that you matter, you're lovable, you're enough. That vortex is spinning through your body, changing your energy, realigning reactivating, remanifesting, regenerating what you were born with a powerful sense of who you are. That vortex is spinning through all of your organs, spinning through your stomach, the seat of all emotions, spinning through your gut, which is called the second brain, spinning through your limbs, spinning through your arms and legs as you notice your body feels more flexible, your attitude is flexible, everything is changing. You're just allowing that vortex to spin, to twist, to turn, to vibrate, to rebalance every system of your body, your sleep system, your metabolic system, your immune system, your nervous system, your skeletal system, your elimination system, your digestive system, every system is working perfectly. Every organ, every gland, every nerve, everything is in the right place at the right time, communicating with every other part of you so that your body is working perfectly. And as your body realigns, rebalances, and becomes more perfect, you're aware that your body is actually the most priceless, mind-boggling thing you will ever own. Your body is priceless. It is mind-boggling and it belongs to you, and you have an overwhelming, powerful, irresistible urge to love this body, to do for your body the things that are guaranteed to end depression, and that is moving. See, when you're depressed, you don't want to do the very things that make you feel better, moving, taking a walk, getting some exercise, playing some music, just moving and eating better food. There is something called essential fats, and the big clue is in the name, they're essential for a reason. And as this vortex spins through your body, spinning out the old, wiring in the new, washing out, vibrating out the old, and coding in the new, you have an overwhelming urge to love that body, to love that priceless, mind-boggling piece of equipment that is you. And you love your body in a few ways. You love your body by moving moving around, getting a little exercise, going for a walk, moving your body 
It is the fastest way to move away from depression. You also love your body by eating essential fats. Your brain needs, requires, insists on essential fats. And you make yourself eat avocados, olives, oily fish, nuts, seeds. And as you fill your brain with essential fats, you notice a sense of well-being. You feel so much better. You drink a lot of water. You're hydrated. You sleep better and you seek out company. These five things, moving your body, eating essential fats, hydrating, sleeping, and finding company are simple and yet their strength is in their simplicity and their ease. And as you install wire in fire and code in these simple things, your life is changing. You also have an urge to be in nature, listening to bird song listening to the sound of a waterfall, being in nature when you can, being out in nature, because of course you are a part of nature. When you are a part of nature, in nature is like coming home, hearing birds sing, hearing water gurgling by, feeling sand or grass under your feet. But when you can't be in nature, you can listen to sounds of nature. You can have that playing in the background. You can look at it on a screen. You can look at pictures, but hearing the sounds of nature, hearing birdsong, hearing water. These things lift depression. So as you go deeper for just a few moments, that vortex is covering your whole body, covering your head, covering your torso, covering your arms, covering your legs, spinning, twisting, turning, vibrating, moving, spinning out anything that could have caused depression, any thought, any belief, any feeling any toxic imprint, any substance that could have caused depression is being shoved out of your body, pushed out of your body, moved out of your body, pushed out of your body. Rather like a broom shoving all this old negative stuff out of you so that what is left behind is shiny and wonderful. And you can feel it right now. I want you to imagine opening up two valves in the soles of your feet, letting all that old stuff be pushed out of your body. Old thoughts, limiting beliefs, blocking thoughts, toxic thoughts, toxic substances, toxic beliefs. I want you to imagine rather like an egg timer that you flip upside down and could piss with a pin so that all that sand will drop out. I want you to imagine the vortex pushing a kind of sand-like substance out of your body through the soles of your feet, pushing out negativity, pushing out limiting beliefs, pushing out anything, everything that could have caused depression. That vortex is covering your whole body, spinning through your mind, spinning through your brain, spinning through everything, so that you feel balanced and healthy and well so that you have balance in your thoughts, balance in your brain, balance in your mind, balance in your body, balance in your emotions, your physical body, your emotional body. Your whole body feels well, and you feel lovable and strong and at ease. You matter, you're significant, you're lovable. And you are determined to take action, to find connection, to eat essential fats, to move your body, to get out in nature, and to know that you matter and you're lovable. So just before we end this vortex, I want you to say out loud, I'm enough, I'm lovable, I matter, I'm significant. And again, I am enough, say it, stay to affirm it, embody it. I matter, I'm lovable, I'm enough, one more time. Let's make it so familiar, so comfortable. I matter, say that. I'm enough, state that. I'm lovable, say it. I'm significant, affirm it, because the truth is you do matter. You are deeply lovable. You are enough and you are so significant. And as you begin to state it, affirm it, embody it, know it, the whole world is going to join you in knowing the truth about you. You are enough. You are lovable, you matter, you're significant. As you state that, affirm it, make it a statement of truth about you. 
Depression can't exist in that body of yours, that mind of yours that knows, believes and accepts the truth about you. You are enough, you are lovable, you matter, you're significant. Wiring that, encoding that in, leaving that wired into you. You can just allow the vortex to start leaving your body, leaving your body, but leaving behind something powerful. These statements of truth and pushing out the old pushing out depression and old stuff and leaving behind motivation, high self-love, high self-worth, high self-esteem and knowing you are lovable, you are enough, you matter, you're significant, you always have been, you always will be and as you know it, really know it, say it, state it, affirm it, own it, as you know it, you give the whole world permission to know it too because it is the truth about you. Let that vortex leave your body completely. But of course, you can play this recording over and over again. When you play this recording at night, you can allow the vortex to spin through your body all night, spinning out the old, coding in, wiring in the new. But if it's during the day and you want to come back to your full awareness, you can slowly, calmly, easily, effortlessly come back into the room feeling different, feeling wonderful, knowing that my voice is staying with you, replacing old limiting beliefs with new powerful ones. You can do this anytime, all the time. Soon you can do it, even without the recording. So depression is only going to be something you used to have that cannot, will not, does not interest you ever again, because it's all behind you now. And that's where it's going to stay. Play this recording a lot before you go to sleep. It will help you sleep through the night when you wake up in the morning to set you up for your day. Let me know how you get on. Thank you for doing this with me. It's a great honor. See you soon.